Hey everyone, welcome back to Cucina Mia. Um, sorry I've been away for a long time, I was busy holidaying in Italy. And thank you for your, all your requests. And here we are with mushroom risotto. Now mushroom risotto is one of those nice vegetarian um, dishes which has lots of umami, lots of flavor and it's a really satisfying dish. The only thing is, I'm based in India, I think most of you are in India, um, arborio rice, which is the original Italian rice, is not easily available and it's also super expensive. What do we do? We use barley. Local, healthier, easier and foolproof. It tastes delicious and you're gonna love it. The first thing you need is barley. This is what raw barley is. And then we've just soaked it for half an hour and cooked it in boiling water for 10 minutes till it's parboiled like this. It's just quicker if you do it this way. First up, you need two cups of mushrooms. I've got mixed mushrooms. I'm using white, regular white mushrooms, fresh ones, and portobello mushrooms. These give a lot of flavor. In case you don't get portobello mushrooms, you can just use white mushrooms. Then I need half an onion, finely chopped, um, two knobs of butter, just a handful of parsley leaves, finely chopped, about three tablespoons of uh, Parmesan cheese. What else? Some white wine, any wine would do. Olive oil, um, a rosemary sprig, just a fresh rosemary sprig I've got here, or you could use uh, dry rosemary, salt and pepper. Hot pan, just a drizzle of olive oil goes in. And I'll also put in one knob of butter, just a bit. Butter is always nice, right? In go the onions, just half an onion, finely chopped. They add loads of flavor and cook it nicely. In go half the mushrooms. So I've got half a cup of white mushrooms and half a cup of portobello mushrooms. Right, as it starts burning, you need to deglaze the pan with some white wine. I have one fourth cup of white wine um, or more if you like wine. In case you don't want to use wine, just add some water and carry on. Season with half a teaspoon of salt. I like using Himalayan pink salt. Um, in the meantime, I'm also getting some hot water in a kettle. Give it a good stir so that the barley soaks in all the good juices from the pan. At this point, I also have some hot water. I just boil it in the kettle and I put it on the fire to stay hot. Add about three to four ladles of water in the risotto and just let it cook. You want to cook it open so that the water evaporates. It's difficult to gauge how much water to add, so ideally you add it bit by bit. As you see the water evaporating, you add in more till the barley is cooked. Give it a stir. This lets out the gluten um, or the starch in the grains and renders a creamy texture. It needs some more water, so I'm just going to add in some more water. The barley is getting cooked. It's absorbing all the flavors of the mushroom and the white wine. It smells delicious. In another pan, just put in a knob of butter. I'm going to saute the remaining mushrooms to give them a nice brown texture. In go a few sprigs of fresh rosemary. Rosemary is really a nice herb to cook with. They're usually available in most of the larger Indian cities. In case you don't get fresh, just use um, some dried ones that also do. And you want to get a nice brown color on these mushrooms. Don't add salt at this point. We'll add salt later, otherwise there'll be too much of water. Risotto is nice and creamy without any cream. You can see this. So don't add more water once you come to this consistency. Um, it's creamy naturally and it's all cooked and it's good to be served. Take it off the heat. Look at these gorgeous golden mushrooms, nice and brown, lots of rosemary, garlic, salt. These will go on as a topping later. Keep these aside. The heat is off. I'm gonna add in, so it's important to let the risotto rest for five minutes. 
when you add the butter, you add in um, the Parmesan cheese. You have to do all this while it's hot, but off the heat. And then give it a nice stir. And so the Parmesan cheese and the butter, they add to the creaminess. And yeah, as I said, there is no cream or milk in this. Look at that gorgeous texture. And that's how you would make any risotto. If you don't use mushrooms, you can use other vegetables uh, like chopped zucchini, carrots, peas and do a vegetarian version. You can do a chicken version or a seafood version. And time to play it out. Handful of parsley leaves, just stir that in. You need a pop of green. It's nice and hot. And look how creamy it is without um, adding any cream just to let you know this is how a risotto is supposed to be uh, where every grain is intact and not like a soup either and not sticky um, like mushy stuff at all yeah look at those gorgeous pearls i'm gonna now top it up with these sauteed mushrooms to make it all so interesting there's lots of rosemary in there fresh pepper a nice drizzle of olive oil, extra virgin always. Now comes the best part. Time to dig in. Mm. That's so good, I'm actually enjoying every bite of it. The savouriness of the umami, the mushrooms, with the al dente bite of the barley, and the creaminess without any cream, that's delicious. You're gonna really, really like this. Uh, do try the recipe. And um, yeah, log on to www.cucina by Natasha for the full recipe, the text recipe. Send in your comments. Until next time, ciao.